Hit that unmute button for me. Okay. Doing good. Thank you, Father. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Glad you're doing good. Good. Where do you two live? South Carolina. We are neighbors. Oh, yeah? We are neighbors. <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> That's great. Uh, in the border, border of North Carolina. If you, because you're from North Carolina, no. yes? No, I'm from, I'm actually originally from Kentucky, but um, I live in Kansas City, Missouri this is now. North Carolina, no. No, uh, Claude has a house in North Carolina. Maybe. Yeah, I know about Claude, but he, I, I thought he I believe his mother in law lives there in North Carolina. Yeah, I think his mother in law is from there. Yeah. So we are not neighbors. We are from South no. Carolina. No, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. It's okay. You know, I think I've been to South Carolina and North Carolina both one time. Like, and it wasn't for very long. And I didn't move around a lot. I just went there and did something and left. <laughs> it's a beautiful place to live. Yeah. It's so southern. It's so, you know, when we moved here from New Jersey, we just realized that uh, southern hospitality, it's not just words. It exists. Oh, yeah. 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 It totally does. I am from the South too. I was born in Kentucky, so I'm kind of, you know, of course, technically it was a border state during the conflict, but it's, it's Southern too, you know, like there's a lot, a lot of real Southern things going on there, but I've also, I've gone to Tennessee and all of those states down below, like they're, and they're all that way. Everybody's super friendly. Yes. Like where you go through the drive through to get a coffee and they're all like how are you today you know and thank you oh you're doing yeah how you doing you know and uh but then i've also been to like detroit <laughs> have you ever been to detroit <laughs> okay. no no we've been to new york yes. okay yeah it's probably pretty close i've been to new york city a few times and D detroit was voted most unfriendly city in the whole country yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think like New York City was quite as rough and tumble as uh, Detroit was on, on the politeness front. But yeah, uh, yeah, there in Detroit, I go through the drive through and you see, I'll say thank you, please, you know, thank you, ma'am, thank you, sir, you know, and no, no response. They whatsoever. don't know words like this. All, yeah, all business man you know <laughs> the drive through biz businessman yeah and i was just like wow what a different feeling you know and i'm so used to people being friendly and polite so true story when i moved from kentucky to kansas city i was worried about people in kansas city accepting me because i still talk like i'm from kentucky sometimes you can hear it in my voice and I was worried about that. And, you know, people here are really, really friendly. So Kansas City, I'm really blessed that people are friendly here too. Super, super nice and stuff here. If they accept yeah. us, they accept you. Yeah, you know, I was, <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say something about that because I know that if I experienced that, you also had to have some of those thoughts too. Like, you know, I hope everybody's nice and one day it's it's really a short story one day i was so surprised of this hospitality mm -hmm. and uh, my neighbor told me welcome to south girl this is not new jersey anymore right right yeah yeah it's it's uh, nice it's nice to be around friendly folks i want, I want to hear joseph and helen say hey y'all hey yo <laughs> it was, it was uh, you know, it's uh, while we have some time, if we do. Uh, so it was completely shock to me. Uh, so I had no idea about this y'all. And so when we were looking for house, we stay in hotel and real estate agent texted us that if you all all ready, so I am downstairs, whatever. I, I was trying to understand what she, what she wrote down. So what is that? 
So maybe she, it was like mistake or maybe mistype, mistype or whatever. So I knew I found out what what is it. <laughs> so David, how y'all doing? Yeah. How y'all doing? By the way, David, uh, it was your birthday. Happy birthday, belated birthday. Thank you. But the best, best, best wishes. Thank you. Yeah. Last Friday. What a friendly thing to say, you know, to remember your birthday. See, everybody here is so friendly. <laughs> I didn't even know how she knew that. <laughs> I don't know how she knew that either. Did, what, did you see it on Facebook? No. We have we have higher connections. Oh, they got connections. See, <laughs> <laughs> we have higher, higher. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I might need your help on a few things then, sir. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. Thank, thank you again. Oh, that's great. That's sure great. Did. Well, it's good to see everybody here. We have quite a few people here. Uh, now we've got uh, Bill here. Welcome, sir. It's good to see you. And we have Dave and Sean and Sean again. And then we have I'll, Mr. I'll, be, done, I'll be done eating in a minute. I didn't want to eat in front of everybody. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, I've got a game planned out here and it's, we're just going to go, uh, we're just going to make it, uh, you know, easy flow and kind of fun today. And, uh, I guess Claude's busy doing something. I'm not sure what all he's up to, but, uh, he must be, uh, what do you say? Traveling or closing something? Fly, flying. I assume that he is flying to North Carolina now. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> He can't hold. He can't hold the phone when he's flapping his arms. I want to uh, play yeah, exactly. His arms will be wore out if he does that, right? Uh, I want to play this uh, this game. It's a new game. I invented it, so you know. Uh, I'm I'm actually yes. I'm trying to take full 100% credit for that. Uh, and it's probably going to be bad, but it'll be fun. It'll be a fun bad. So let's play guts or gutless. All right, that's the game where I say a phrase and you tell me if it's guts or if it's gutless. All right, let's see who will be awarded the most. I am awarding huge points for every correct answer. Who will be the winner? It's a good question. Who will be the winner? Might be you. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to play? Does that sound like fun? You guys want to play some guts or gutless? Let's try. Let's try. Did you guys hear my applause? <laughs> All right. If you get a bad answer, then you might get one of these. All right. Okay. So uh, guts or gutless. I'm going to say a phrase. And I want you to tell me if it is guts or gutless. All right. But first of all, let's cover some let's cover some groundwork here. What does guts stand for? What are it's an acronym for something? Guts, G U T S. Who has something, something yeah. unorthodox uh, training system? Mm, okay. Great, great, great. pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. Uh, so you want to take another shot at it there, Helen? Great unorthodox uh, um, technique of, of success. success. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, should we give it to them, judges? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Should we give it to them? Okay, somebody want to add on to that. They said great unconventional techniques of success. Or selling, it's saying. Okay, there you selling go. Selling and success. Right. <laughs> right, that's the right answer. Great unorthodox techniques of selling. Okay, all right. Now, what does gutless stand for? Now, this is not an official document. This is one of those secret things. What does gutless stand for? If you were it's here, not, not great unconventional technique of selling. <laughs> right, right. Basically, that's it. 
Does anybody know exactly G U T L E S S? I I made this up last week, last Wednesday when when I was filling in. Then does anybody know what gutless stands for? I'm thinking that lousy has to be in there. <laughs> You're a lousy sure. salesman. Okay. Uh, losing every sale. Okay, that's very uh. close. I said, we all know guts is the great unconventional techniques of selling. Uh, I said, but gutless is the great unconventional techniques of losing every single sale. So it was gutless. exactly what I said. Gutless, yeah, okay. So we'll give you, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give Joseph uh, 1 million points for that, Ooh. 1 million points. You have, to, you have to do this when you say it. I love you too, short. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's jump into the first guts or gutless phrase. Is this guts or is this gutless? The salesman always comes last. Gutless. No way. Gutless. Um, that's Dave says gutless. What did what did you say, Helen? gutless that's gutless. gutless gutless right gutless all right gutless okay good morning good morning uh for that's that's for one million points uh for a bonus one million points uh to both dave and helen would you tell us what is the guts idea if that is gutless what would guts say salesman always comes uh first you have rights in the sale all right. And I agree with Dave hundred percent. All right. All right. <laughs> so we so have. So she gets five hundred thousand, and I get five hundred thousand. <laughs> so yeah, both of you get a bonus one million points. Okay. Um, now we have uh, because gut says the salesman always comes first. Right. So now we have phrase number two here. We are in business to make money today is that guts or gutless guts. guts guts that's right that's right all right can anybody tell us why for a bonus five million points why is that guts make money today talk about that why is that guts why this do we whole, practice this this? Is, this is whole idea to get it today and uh, the most important question is why we cannot do it today. If I'll assume everything what you want, so let's do it today. Right. You right. are not allowed to whatever, to, to think today. How about today is all we've got for sure? Wow. That's, Absolutely. That's, that's deep. That's deep. That's philosophical. <laughs> okay. Right. We're living in the present, right? We're, yes, we we're existing right now in this, this exact yes, moment. <laughs> I, there's something to be said about that. Yeah, I, I totally agree with both of you. Um, making money today. There's there's nothing worse than needing money today and not being able to make money until Friday next week. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about, though? I'm referring yeah. to being a wage earner, right? Yeah. Have you ever been a wage earner and you needed money really bad on a Monday? And it was like, well, I don't even get paid again until the Friday after this Friday. Yes. <laughs> yeah, horrible. But Gut says we are in business to make money today, right? So, all right. To, to elaborate on that, when Claude always says, so if, when I send this contract over to you or when we speak at four o'clock, what, what happens then? It's like you still, if people go beyond the next day or the next day after, you can pretty much kiss your deal goodbye in a lot of cases. Yeah, I had an old sales trainer uh, one time tell me, he said, you know, you have to strike while the ether's hot, right? Strike while the ether's hot. And what he was talking about, I didn't really know. I don't really know what ether means, really, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. But I know what he meant, okay? Mm -hmm. it, maybe y'all know what I'm saying. 
I don't know what he what what he said. I don't know what it means, but I know what he meant. And what he meant was is when you're when you let it slip out like that time wise, and it's like you didn't close them today, and then you're gonna follow up with them tomorrow, and then maybe in a few days, and it's just not you know, like the magic kind of fades away. That it's like anesthesia, you know, when you go to a, go under surgery, right? If they're gonna put you under, they they put you under. Well, they don't put you under and then wait like you know two hours to start usually they put you under and start immediately you know because you gotta you gotta cut while that guy's out <laughs> yeah. all right does that does that make sense yeah so yeah. um it does good good point good point there uh dave we're in the business to make money today all right so this is mindset stuff we're gonna have to change our mindsets a little bit and get all adjusted into thinking about making money today okay all right here's the next one guts or gutless is this guts or is this gutless all right it's never appropriate to tell a prospect you're fired Gut. gutless gutless no. Mm. Uh, it depends how you're gonna tell this. If you're gonna tell this but not close the door. All right. Yeah. All right. So we have we have some differing opinions on here. Let me let me say it again. It's never appropriate to tell a prospect you're fired. Now, this makes me think of uh what was that show with Donald Trump when he would tell people you're fired? Oh okay. I'm not I'm not really talking about that, but that does come to mind when I when I read this phrase. I'm talking about telling a prospect that's a bad prospect. This is a bad prospect. It's oh. never appropriate to tell a bad prospect you're fired. Is that oh, guts it's, or gutless? It's guts. Guts. Hmm. It's never appropriate to tell a bad prospect you're fired. That's a double uh, negative. So you're, yeah. that's a, that's a, <laughs> you're playing with us. It's, it's Monday morning. I just it's woke a, up. It's a double negative. It's a, gut, right. it's a guts move because it goes back to your rights in the sale. Okay. And not wasting your time. And if you've you've done your three steps to try to qualify, set the agenda and qualify. And if they're not meeting the the um, requirements you got to cut them loose and move on to the next deal or you're wasting your time yeah so telling a prospect you're fired is that a guts maneuver or a gutless maneuver it's a guts, guts. maneuver. it's totally a guts maneuver totally guts i'm sorry mr prospect but you're fired I made a decision <laughs> yeah i'm sorry mr prospect i've made a decision and this is not a good fit for me but real quickly before I go, if I were to, oh, okay, now insert counter offer, okay, ah. insert counter offer. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I, it's totally a guts maneuver to, to tell a prospect you're fired. Has anyone in here ever had the guts to tell? Yes, I am recording this, Sean. Thank you, sir. I'll post this in the Skype group as soon as it's all ready to go and all that good stuff. Good question. Thank you for reminding me. Has anybody in here ever had the guts to tell a prospect? I'm sorry, Mr. Prospect, Miss Prospect, but you're fired. I do. Joseph doesn't. Yes. Wow. <laughs> now, wait a minute here. I'm noticing a trend. Well, I have two ladies in the room and both of them have said now, yes, I have. Oh, yeah. I have told a prospect you are fired. And then I have I have the hearsay story that there's men in the room that struggle with telling prospects. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Why is it easier for a woman to say you're fired than a man to say you're fired? What is going on here? Why is that? Who struggles with are there any other men in the room struggling with this? Mr. Prospect, you're fired. You're struggling with that. Any other guys? It's women's nature, you know, so it's it's wait, easy wait. it's easy for them. Jessica, you sure we we okay to open our secret? <laughs> yeah, we have we have more estrogen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was gonna call I was gonna call it the B button, but I don't want to say the word. 
<laughs> Thank you, Dave. Sometimes it's compliments. I think beautiful women are used to rejecting people. Right? Oh. oh, thank you. All right. Ooh, I didn't want to touch that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're used to saying no. Hey, you know, yeah, no, 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 thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy. Did you see the way that guy was talking to me or he looked at me? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. You know, when, when you go back to Claude's, uh, explanation of emotional selling the emotion that you kick up the dirt when you say that to somebody it's like what you know it's like they yeah. they get angry for a moment but then you yeah. you reel them back in like you did you know when you said so so before i go yeah. what are you going to do about this this or that you got them emotional enough for a second to be like you know, do I want to stay on this call with this guy or, you know, now you're, now you're going back and you're, you're poking at the wound. Give him just one more chance. Without them knowing that. You guys are doing good today. Doing good with this. We're having fun. I think with this game, let's move on to this next one here. Um, all right. Um, is this guts or gutless? Are you guys ready? Are you nervous? Yes, nervous. <laughs> is this guts or gutless? I wish we all had buzzers in and we could see who buzzes in first. That'd be really fun. Uh -huh. All right. Is this guts or gutless? Mr. Prospect, it's okay if you need time to think about it. Well, gutless. Gutless. <laughs> that, is gut that is gutless. Mr. It's Prospect, gutless. it's okay if you need time to think about it. Gutless, gutless, only gutless. Why is that gutless? Man, why is that? Why it. is that gutless? What would guts be? You you are not allowed to sing. Yeah, <laughs> you're not allowed to think about it, right? All right. Who wants to Who wants to get an additional bonus points? Ten million bonus points for telling me why it's guts to say you're not allowed to think about it. It's Uncle Claude's statement here. It's a, because Uncle said, the clock says so. <laughs> yes. Justin, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say that, you know, because they're afraid to hurt my feelings. But honestly, if you know, if this isn't the right fit for you, you know, it's okay to fire me. It shows your strength. Oh, it shows that, that great you play. are not begging for anything. You, uh, your product so good, and you, you so sure that. If not this person, another person yeah. will buy it like this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 What if we ever catch ourselves on a prospecting call saying, Mr. Prospect, it's okay if you need time to think about it. Bye bye. <laughs> what do we need to do? Is anybody in here guilty of this? I am. I'll be honest with you. I've done it. They'll call you back just after Jesus returns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David, <it>. come on. <laughs> you know, I've done it and I and I got off the phone and I and I said to myself, well, you know, I just didn't want to pressure the guy. And you know, I wouldn't want to be pressured like that. And you know, I yeah, if he he'll he'll probably call us back tomorrow. I've said that. I've literally said that. Now that violates that violates a previous uh, principle we talked about, which was make money when today. That's hey. that's guts, right? To make money today. <clears throat> but um, also, you know, it lets them off the hook, really, completely, totally. It doesn't. It's not. It's not putting in the the scalpel while the ether is hot. You know, while the anesthesia is in. You're, you're going to let them wake up and then try to get them back to sleep later, right? Okay. You know what I do? There are some occasions where I do that, but if I see they really need time to think, and then I follow up with a call the next day, and they're like, I'm like, okay, great. Are we ready to, are we ready to go? And often they are like, yes, 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 I am. I just needed to sleep on it. And then, okay, you know, but if you do that, okay. if you do that, you need to set a set appointment yes definitely so, set an appointment so, so jessica yeah. when we speak tomorrow at one o'clock right you're going to speak to your wife or your husband or your significant other or your partner and you're going to have an answer 
whether or not we're going to move forward or not, correct? Exactly. That's what you do. I'm sorry. That's that's exactly that's exactly what I do. Thank yes. you. I'm, I'm a little hard of hearing. Sorry. Ooh, yep. uh, <laughs> you know, I think this is a I like our talk on this. This is one of those topics that I think affects different salespeople differently. Yeah. Okay. Number one reason why I say that is, is because in some scenarios, you may be a salesperson that works for a company that has a set schedule of products that has a set schedule of, <laughs> of, of prices, you know, <laughs> Sorry. stuff like that. She, she's always doing this. A multitasking, she, you know, I'm always... like showing the guts victory <laughs> symbol. <laughs> <laughs> You may work for a company that doesn't allow uh, it doesn't allow you to say something like this because by very nature of the company is that they could come back again tomorrow and buy. Um, and they know that, you know, the prospect knows that they have all the time in the world because they yeah. you are working for a salesman. Now, this this really, really becomes massively important, though, if you're working for yourself or you're selling your own product, you know, yeah, especially if you're creating inbound marketing. Okay, if you're doing what guts marketing is right, which is daily attraction marketing is what Claude teaches us. If you're doing that, then you have some warm inbound calls. So yeah. it's easier then to use yeah. this principle and say, hey, listen, bub, you called me. Yeah, and I'm offering you a solution. You're not allowed to think about it. Hey, either you want it or you don't. It's okay if you want to tell me no. Is this over? Okay, that's gutsy, but that's that's in a particular model of business too. So you might be selling uh, something else for someone else, and so it's a little different scenario. Uh, yeah. But but nevertheless, the, the principle is the same: that you're not supposed to be giving these prospects all this leash to think about stuff. All right. So yeah, you if you to... have a, if you have a deal on the table, you're offering. And you're marketing like that it'll it could be gone by later that afternoon so it's yeah. like you wait till tomorrow you snooze you lose okay so let me give you the next one guts or gutless guts or gutless all right everybody did great guts or gutless all right mr prospect i'm going to send you my free information after you've reviewed it get back to me Gutless. Mm, is this gutless? I'm going, Mr. Prospect, I'm going to be sending you my free information. After you've reviewed it, get back with me. You have to be specific. When, when, what time, what day? Otherwise, it's gutless. It's just totally subordinate. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the same thing we were just talking about. You're not allowed to think about it, except we're saying, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Prospect, we're going to send you our information so you can think about it. Yeah. And then if you thought about it and you feel like it, then get back with me. Yeah. Is that guts or is that gutless? Gutless. <laughs> That's gutless. That's totally yeah. gutless. I'm guilty of that, too. I'm very guilty of being gutless on that sometimes. I've done that. And uh, it's an easy thing to slip into. Hey, you know what, Mr. Prospect? Uh, I'm gonna, hey, you know what? I'll tell you, give me, your e give me your email and I'll send you my info. And you can kind of take a look at some of these, uh, some of this propaganda I'm going to send over to you. And, uh, <laughs> you know, then, then I'll follow up with you, you know, sometime later. Or you can follow up with me. Yes. That sounds like a starving salesperson. Yeah. doesn't it it really does that dude's not making no money uh -uh. I, just, I just wanted to tell helen and joseph you know there's no money to win on this show right <laughs> points, how many dollars points, is it these how, points mean nothing <laughs> how many dollars is a million points justin um yeah see i don't know we haven't determined that yet. we haven't the done that yet <laughs> yeah. that's a great question jessica why do you ask yeah that's a great yeah, you're just afraid of all competition that's why you're telling us <laughs> when you double your money but the points yeah. are worth nothing then well <laughs> hey hey the points are worth loads and loads truckloads and truckloads of fun 
Yes. <laughs> All take right. It. All right. Take so, it. <laughs> uh, so a hundred thousand points for that question there. If you've got that right there. Um, exactly. So now here for another additional bonus, 10 million points. Someone tell me what is the guts philosophy on giving away free information? We don't do it. What? Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do it. No. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then we got reciprocity over here too. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So there's, there's a fine line evidently somewhere in the middle here. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Let's break it down and talk about it for a minute. Yes. What's the guts philosophy on giving away free information? One one party over here says we don't do it, and another party says we might do it, but with expectation of something in return. That's what we do. It's an exchange, <laughs> not not free. It's about timing too. Don't give yeah. it right at the beginning. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's uh, then it's not free. Correct. Yeah. You're the winner. It's the what's in it for me. Response. <laughs> uh, ben, tell us why we don't give away free information in guts. Um, because uh, as as was learned at, at the beginning of time with Uncle Claude, they will, you know, spin your, you know, to, you'll, you'll, put time and money out um and it's it's not it's not it's not good business it's not efficient you know they will you know your time is precious five good rule of five you know you've got to have good conversations and when they ask you for something you take a breath and you go well if i were to do that could you for me hmm Okay, I like it. I see where you're going. I smell what you're cooking. Yeah, there it is. And I like it. Does anybody have anything they want to add to this? I think if if people give things away free, sometimes they they don't see a value. Mm -hmm. If something's free, it doesn't have a value. Mm -hmm. So that's. I have a lot of. I I know how Claude uses his freebies is to get them to make an appointment with him. He gets them on the phone. He has the opportunity to talk to them and see if there's any business to do there. And even if there's not, you know, Mr. Jones, um, this isn't going to be a great fit for me, blah, blah, blah. You know, I will send you a free book. Thank you for your time. Thank you for meeting with me. He uses it as, as bait on the hook to reel in a deal. Or if he doesn't have the deal, he politely excuses himself but he he fills his honorable role by keeping his word to give them something for free okay using it as a marketing tool perhaps yeah would be okay what about the timing aspect justin like you can give certain things for free at certain times but you've got to really get your timing right on it yeah I have a lot of, let me give you a real world example. I have a lot of uh, people that hit me up and they want me to give them coaching, free coaching mm -hmm. on how to do real estate, lease, lease purchases, lease options. And they'll say something like this. Oh, it's awesome to meet you. It's really, really cool. I can't even believe I'm talking to you. I saw your video and now I'm talking to you, the real person. It's so amazing. Like I'm from Hollywood or something, <laughs> which, we, which we all know I'm not, right? Mm -hmm. But then they'll say, I just wanted to ask you a few questions and pick your brain for a minute, okay? And I'm like, well, who in the world ever told these people that I'm giving free advice today? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's an assumption, right? That some prospects make. And so how would I, if I, I'm asking your advice here in the room, okay? Now I know what I've, I know what Claude told me to do and I know what I've been doing, but I want to hear what you guys would say, okay? In a real world scenario, I have someone calling me, asking me for free advice, free advice, free advice. And they'll, they'll eat up as much time as you want to spend giving free advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do I deal with this? Someone tell me, 
how is the guts method going to help me? Just to get him for consulting. Just give just give him a cookie and then yeah, shut it down. I don't even think you give him the cookie because you know it's like so so Justin, you're calling me for uh, to pick my brain and and get some information to help you with this situation. Um, you don't really have any training or understanding of what's really going on. I've I've invested a lot of money in myself and my knowledge to learn this business. And if I give you, if I toss you a bone right now, are you going to actually go out and do a deal? Are you going to, are you going to be equipped with enough knowledge to be able to put something together? If I just throw you a few bones, you know, I like what you said, Dave, but something about it just isn't me, you know, like I'd have a hard time saying that, man. So you can uh, rephrase. I like what Dave said, and if it's not for you, I would rephrase it somehow. I'm gonna be guilty if you. I'm gonna feel guilty if you messed up something. So for me to give you an advice, I have to teach you. That's pretty smooth. That's pretty That's slick. Yeah, I like it. Okay, but. What about giving them a cookie, one cookie, and then they get them on the line, then they're addicted to those yeah. cookies. Yeah. <laughs> so what guts would what guts is according to Claude, what Claude has taught me in this scenario, when someone's asking you for free advice or free product or free services or free discounts or free this or that, the answer is not to give it to them right away, but to say, I don't know. That's a good question. Why? are you asking for that mm. there must be a reason okay and maybe claude has even done that to you <laughs> have you ever asked claude for something he says why are you asking that there must be a reason for your question mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. sometimes i feel like when he does that to me he's just dancing around in his mind looking for the answer and he wants to stall me for a second you ever get that feeling <laughs> uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> not a bad strategy not a bad strategy mm -hmm. all right so you might keep that in mind but really honestly um we are not in the business to give away free information i do believe in a free hook okay i will give away free information but i am not in the business of giving away free information you guys remember charlie brown who was it that had the little uh what was it the little psychiatric stand or was it kisses for five cents or lucy it? lucy Lucy. Yeah. yeah so what I, what was she doing giving away kisses for five cents no was it mental Psycholo advice? psychology psychology meeting. yeah mental advice yeah that's what yeah. i thought okay mm -hmm. yeah so even even charlie brown's lucy knew to charge five cents okay mm -hmm. so uh no free information we talked about that maybe a little too long okay let's move on guts or gutless okay I have the right to be in control of this sales process. Is that guts or gutless? Guts. Guts, guts. all the way. Mm, that is guts all the, all the way. Okay, here's the next question. That was a good answer. Um, all right, this one here is for 150 million points. Prices are growing, yes. Is this guts or gutless? <laughs> I have a right to have a high self-esteem and feel good about myself all the time. Yes. Guts. 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 Guts all the way. <laughs> you said when I make a mistake. <laughs> all right. That's the right answer. Guts all the way. I have a right to have a high self-esteem and feel good about myself all the time. Guts. Guts. absolutely guts mm -hmm. all right for an additional 50 million points who can tell us why you have a right to have a high self-esteem and feel good about yourself all the time someone tell I'm us right. why just yeah. because i'm right just because you're there, you <laughs> right just because you're you and you're pretty yeah. wonderful pretty <laughs> wonderful because <laughs> if you don't you're not going to last long in sales your your self-esteem will go down the toilet is it if we make a mistake, we own it. Yeah. Okay. If you have a right 
to have a high self-esteem and feel good about yourself all the time, then that means you need to be honest about your shortcomings. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to have a high self-esteem very long because you're being a dishonest individual. Oh, we could go down a rabbit hole here. Well, I could go. I, I'll end up back at the therapist office if we keep talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here's the next one. Is this guts or gutless? <clears throat> I really cannot choose or decide to charge exactly what I want. Gutless. That is the customer. Gutless. Gutless. Okay. Gutless, huh? Yes. I really don't have the right to choose to charge as much as I want. That's gutless. That's gutless. gutless. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a story. I was a guts guy even when I was a little kid, I, before I even met Claude. I'm, it's just destiny that I met Claude. <clears throat> when I was a little kid, I worked. Uh, I, I worked a job. <laughs> I worked anything I could find. I don't know. Oh, I've always been, always been an Two entrepreneur. Billion? I'm sorry. Say that again. I I missed it. Sorry, Jessica. I didn't hear what you said. <clears throat> when I was a little kid, uh, I was in a youth group at church, and um, I was a little entrepreneurial spirit about it, everything anyway. So I was the guy that wanted to sweep your sidewalk and and mow your grass and pick up leaves and i was that kid in the neighborhood anyway the youth group was selling candy bars for a dollar a piece you guys know these like little school groups and youth groups and stuff and churches and stuff they sell like cheerleading uh, clothes oh, yeah. and all that sell candy bars for a buck they still do that yeah or is it like yeah, it's probably yeah. more than a buck now but it was a buck back when i was a kid and this was 30 30 years ago actually it was more than 30 years ago <laughs> slightly uh well anyway I got to thinking, you know, I need to, I need to make more money and I have the right to charge as much as I want because I'm the salesman. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like 10 years old. Okay. I'm going door to door in my little country town neighborhood. And I got the idea instead of selling these for a dollar where the, where the church youth group gets 50 cents and then the, 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 the candy company gets 50 cents. I'm going to sell these for $2 a piece. And then for every candy bar I sell, I can eat a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so <clears throat> I've always it, been. <laughs> what's in it for me? <laughs> exactly. You see, I was so young, you'd think that I would want the dollar. Like I was doing it for the money. But no, I was doing it because I wanted the free candy bars. Because I would buy, I would, every time I sold a candy bar, I was like, yep, there's a candy bar for me. Two dollars, two dollars. I even had homeowners. I remember answering the door, going, uh, two two dollars. Aren't they normally like a dollar?" I was like, "Yeah, prices have gone up. Yeah, it's for charity. It's for charity." <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it is charity. If, if you were in California, you could just use the California excuse. <laughs> That's the price for living in sunshine, sir. I'm pretty sure that's illegal in every state, but um, I think I was 10 years old, so they let me get away with it. <laughs> uh, all right, that's bad advice. Don't go doing that now. But but for real, we can charge whatever we want, especially if we are in our own business, right? We Again, we might be in a scenario where we work for a company that, that decides the pricing. And uh, if that's the case, then then you know, you definitely are limited a little bit as to what you can charge or what you can make. But that doesn't mean that what you're, I've been in some pretty lucrative situations like that. So uh, don't look bad, uh, like it's bad that you're in a situation like that. It might not be. All right, here's the next one. Um, guts or gutless? Never go to a meeting unless you are picking up a check or a contract. Guts. Guts. Mm, guts. All right. I know a lot of people that go to a lot of meetings and they don't pick up any checks or contracts there. Good. All right. Free advice. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna give away some free advice today. Yep. <laughs> right. Okay. Guts or gutless. During a uh, during a prospect interview, it's never okay to go negative. Guts. Gutless. Oh, gutless. Yeah. 
Mm. It is okay. It is okay. During a prospect interview, it's never okay to go negative. Gutless. 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 That that is gutless. Now, for an additional 10 million points, can someone tell us why that's gutless? You would not uh, rent for a year or two and then I'll buy it, would you? Mm. It's negative. Using the negative. Good role play hey. example. Good role play example. Hey, Justin, uh, Jessica's trying to get back in. I don't know if, if you're able to let her back in. She's not getting uh, in. She's I don't some... see her, man. She's not popping in here. I'm not seeing her. I'll let her in. Okay. But I don't see her, man. All right, somebody tell me about guts or gutless. It's that that was the go negative. Um, it is okay to go negative. Why is it gutsy to go negative? He um, Joseph just gave us a good example of going negative. Can someone else give us another example of going negative? Anyone? Anyone? You know why? Yeah. You know why, guy? You guys didn't all jump on that question. I know why. You see, I know you. And all of you in this room are just so damn positive. It's hard to even think about going negative. Am I right? It's, it's redirection when they go positive no. and go negative. <laughs> okay, so no, it's easier to get a positive reaction when you go negative. <clears throat> there is something about that, David's right. Yeah. What are you saying, Ben? I, I, I was just I was just playing into it by saying no, but uh, it is it is the, the nature of the beast, the psychology that if if particularly in sales, we you know the buyers are are looking for resist you know places to resist and and ways to keep the door open to go out the back. Yeah. So if you say you know uh, Miss Mr. Jones, um, you you wouldn't want to close today and and have your worries about those those squatters and uh and etc you know no longer be your problem uh, yeah. perhaps you want to wait and see how much damage is done before you sell if you sell uh perhaps you're you're good to just keep doing what you're doing and getting what you get that's okay too it's okay to say no to me but yeah. uh yeah yeah if you, you want, if you want to, if you go ahead, go ahead, Ben. Yeah, if you if you if you want to do business today, and you and you know, I see here that you that you do want to sell. Um, there's no reason to continue. Let's let me yeah. you know. Here's my offer. I, I'm I'm looking for price or terms, sir. So using. Uh using phrases like you wouldn't want this you wouldn't like this you wouldn't be here yes. uh doing this uh having this whatever whatever you're selling pitching you wouldn't using the negative you couldn't see yourself in this car could you um uh, using negative things like this doesn't sound like a good fit for you or does it or this sounds like a good fit for you mm -hmm. or maybe not okay playing on negatives yeah. always very helpful but one of the greatest examples that stuck in my mind that that claude's taught me is um you might have heard him say this too is he was referring to the car salesman who was telling the prospect that came on the lot they drove on the lot in their old smoker you know what i mean the, mm -hmm. the car that's smoking out of both ends and uh they park it on the lot and then they they walk on and, and they're looking around and the, the salesman approaches them you know how it works at a car lot the salesman approaches him and he says, hey, is that your car you drove in with? Yes, it is. Oh, well, what a classic. Why don't you just keep it? Yeah. Going negative. It sounds like he's talking himself out of a sale. But what he's doing is he's provoking that prospect to tell him all the reasons why they need to buy today. Right? Why don't you just keep it? Mm -hmm. You've heard him say that about houses and real estate. Um, well, it, it, this sounds, this looks like a lovely house. This sounds like a lovely place. 
you've lived there for 10 years yeah. why not live there for another 10 years yeah well so is that going negative i feel like that's kind of a representation of going negative too it is okay it is all right all right man we're doing good today okay here's the next one is this guts or gutless <clears throat> Sometimes it's okay to beg the prospect. God God bless. <laughs> Everybody was in unison with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. Right. Yes. Okay. Guts or gutless. After I make my presentation, I will determine if my prospect is ready to make a commitment. Or gutless, not. gutless. Oh, gutless. gutless. After I make my presentation, I will determine it's gutless if at my this prospect point. is ready to make a commitment. We don't that's make gutless. presentations. What is what is the guts approach? Because that's right. Right answer, Joseph. What's what's the guts approach to presentations and commitments? We don't make presentations until we know they qualify and we have a reason to be talking to them yep yep why well, make presentations until you know they're ready to make a commitment that's what gut says right yes no yeah. presentations unless you have a commitment now why do i have a note here that says no presentations unless you have a commitment or info what does the or info mean? Why did I write that down? Did I get that from guts? Yeah. You got your info because they shared something with you so that you can determine what their needs are. Yeah. 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 I might not have a I might not have a full blown commitment they'll buy from me. But they but you have, are you have a direction to follow now to yeah to they're address. they're committing their information to me here yeah. so we can have a real adult adult conversation about it right reeling them in mm. no presentations unless you have a commitment or info okay all right is this guts or gutless the phrase I don't know guts 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 <laughs> Please, I, you have to do this <laughs> all right i know i know salespeople who feel like they need to have the answer for everything is that what this is talking about guts or gutless i don't know guts guts that's guts why does it take guts to say i don't know the, mo the most popular answer, the most valuable answer. You don't have to know everything. That's what that's what differentiates us. You can, you know, be, I before I changed my ways with Uncle Claude, I was one of those salespeople. I'd wing it. I'd say, you know, I. I'm sure other people have done that. You, you know, you don't want to seem like you don't know what you're doing, so you end up answering questions you didn't need to answer you end up lighting fires you don't need it's ridiculous it's like you talked about um last week with your your lead-in questions it opens up the follow-up for more information that's like you said earlier that's an interesting question why is that important to you now they now they're going to elaborate more and you're going to get more information and it shows that you're honest yeah i like it all good answers all right let's do two more guts or gutless it's okay when a prospect compliments you and you don't return the favor gutless, gutless. Mm, it's okay when a prospect compliments you and you don't return the favor, you guys say that's gutless. Why? Gutless. For an additional 100 million points. Broke, nurture. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Yeah. <laughs> that's your it favorite. It was not answer. easy for me to learn this word. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to say it uh, each time. Good job. Reciprocity. That's great. That's great. <laughs> 
That's great. Yep, reciprocity. When they give you a compliment, why is it gutless to not return the favor? Why do we need to return the favor to be gutsy? To make better connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ability. Like ability. Stroking, stroking and nurturing. They 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 need they need a that a boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's the last one. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. I gotta I gotta I gotta set some stuff up here real quick. Hold on a second for our last one. Is this to win the showcase uh where we get this is this is yeah world. this one here is worth 100 mm -hmm. billion points okay and so, the, luggage. so if you get the answer the to this luggage. one then you'll be today's <clears throat> official winner okay are you guys in the uh, let's play guts or... probably not <laughs> let me share this here we go All right the last question for guts the rule of five is important only if I feel like it. Gutless. Gutless. The rule of five is only important if I feel like it. Gutless. Gutless. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Gutless. Yep. Why is it gutless? it's easy to talk to five people a day should be should be pretty easy if you're in Marketing. business to you talk to five people a day that's right yeah. it doesn't all have to be on the phone it could be anywhere you never know what's gonna come your way that's oh, right. yeah well i love you guys have a blessed day it's been fun hanging out with you thanks for it was fun thanks for having some fun thank, thank you, you. Thank, yes. you. Thank, thank you thank you you guys are always fun to hang out with. I'll see you again later. Um, yeah. Rod will be on the Wednesday show this week. Okay. Okay. So, good. We'll All right. Have a good week. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.